Hey guys, welcome back to Tenorshare. Did you upgrade to the latest iOS 17.5? The official version just launched, but many iPhone users on Reddit and our video comments have reported that iOS 17.5 drains their battery much faster. If you notice this issue only after upgrading, the best solution might be to wait for a new iOS update or use software to downgrade your phone. In the meantime, we've prepared some tested and effective methods to help slow down battery drain. Let's dive in. Part 1. Adjust settings to fix iOS 17.5 battery drain. 1. Background app refresh. iOS allows apps to refresh their content in the background even when you're not actively using them. This can consume battery power, especially if you have many apps enabled. You can manage this feature by going to Settings, General, and tap Background App Refresh, then disabling it for apps that you don't need to update in the background. 2. Turn on Reduce Motion. You can go back and go to Assibility, and go to Motion. Then tap Reduce Motion. This will make your phone less charming and save your battery. 3. Optimize display settings. You can reduce the brightness of your display and enable auto brightness. Lowering the screen brightness can significantly extend battery life. You can also go to settings and go to display and brightness to modify them. Display settings like turn on auto lock. 4. Location services. You can go to privacy and security. Some apps use your location in the background, which can drain your battery. Consider disabling location access for some apps that you don't require it. 5. Enable low power mode. When your battery is running low, enable low power mode it in setting and in battery. Here, this feature reduces power consumption by disabling non-essential features and background activities. If you've tried the above methods, but still can't solve the battery drain issue, you can wait for a new iOS update in a month or two, or use Rei Boot to downgrade. Here, I will downgrade iOS 17.5 to 17.4 to show you. Part 2. Downgrade with Rei Boot. Rei Boot provides a reliable alternative to downgrade your iOS version. Rei Boot's downgrade feature is much more user-friendly than iTunes. It automatically detects your iPhone model and the appropriate version to downgrade to rarely encounters errors, and it's quick and simple. First, you need to backup your data in iTunes. Open iTunes and go to the summary page. Click on Backup to create a local backup. Make sure your storage has ample space for the backup. Then wait for it to finish. Now let's head to the downgrade process. After downloaded and open Rei Boot. Click the downgrade button in Rei Boot. Select downgrade. It auto detects the downgrade version. No need for manual firmware downloads and the process is practically error free. Initiate the downgrade process and let it complete. Then wait for it to finish. And there you have it. You can restore the earlier backup from the activation process by iCloud or Restore by iTunes. Before doing so, make a slight adjustment to the backup for compatibility with iOS 17. Follow the steps to modify the backup. To do this, Open iTunes and go to the summary page. Hold down the Win and R keys to open the Run dialog box. Type in percent app data percent and hit Enter. Navigate to Apple Computer, Mobile Sync, and open the backup folder. If you don't see the backup folder, Hold down the Win and R keys to open the Run dialog box. Type in percent user profile percent instead. 
Then, go to Apple, Mobile Sync, and open the backup folder. The backup we created should be the most recent one, based on the last modified time. Inside the folder, scroll down to the bottom and find the info. Open it in Notepad. Press Ctrl and F to open the search bar and search for the word product. Not too far down, you'll see the product version. Below that, it should say EOS 17.5. Change that to iOS 17.4. Tap Ctrl and S to save the file. Now we can go back to iTunes and start the restore process. Click on Restore Backup and select the backup we just modified. iTunes will start the restore process and your iPhone will restart. Once the restore is complete, you can set up your phone again. This time, all your apps, photos and other data will be restored. And your iPhone will be back to iOS 17.4 with no battery problem. If you don't want to downgrade your iOS 17.5, you can also try its system repair feature to resolve compatibility issues between your phone and the system. If you prefer not to use third-party software, you can use iTunes to downgrade and re-upgrade your phone. But this might be more complicated as you will need to download the relevant IPSW files and modify data, and it may have trouble detecting your phone. The choice of method depends on your preference. We hope these methods help you solve your battery issues. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for our next video.